This is Richard with BWE Firearms, and today we are going to talk about the MP5. Uh, this was made by Agent K, and it was developed in the 60s. It's a closed bolt, 9mm submachine gun. It has a firing rate of about 800 rounds per minute. And it is by far probably the sexiest subgun, as much as I hate to say that. Uh, the ergonomics are very good on this gun, uh, unlike some of the subguns that their ergonomics suck. This one is a... I think it's a pistol that I built it as. I built this gun out of a parts kit, HK parts kit. And it's got a post sample pack on it. I built a post sample pack. Now the packs come in a number of different varieties, the trigger packs. They have trigger packs that are safe and fire. They have trigger packs that are like this one, which is safe, single shot, and full auto. They have packs like this one, which is safe, semi-auto, three round burst, and full auto. They also make a pack that instead of the three round burst has a two round burst. And then they make a pack with semi auto uh, safe semi auto two round burst three round burst and full auto why you would need a two round and a three round burst i'll never know uh, learn how to shoot the gun and guess what you don't need bursts because you can use your finger to get bursts off uh the mp5 has 30 round magazines they either have curved or they made straight magazines i don't have a straight magazine um, because they're too expensive for my tastes uh, i have a couple of these are factory uh, hk magazines i've got a couple of these and then i've got a number of the i believe they're korean uh, mp5 magazines and those Korean mags, I've never had a problem with them. The HK mags, yes, they're better, but the Korean mags run just fine. Uh, they have peep sights, which are actually very good sights. Um, on this gun, I have put a fast fire mount, welded it on, and I use the fast fire on it. I think that I'm going to change this, take the fast fire mount off. I did one for Hank Strange, and uh, he did a video on it. But I mounted the fast fire up here further, just far enough back to clear the bolt handle when it's back. And so you could manipulate the bolt handle and not hit the fast fire. And I think his I did in RMR, but I'm cheap, so I like the fast fire. But I moved the fast fire up more, and then between the sight and the back of the fast fire, the front of the sight and the back of the fast fire, I mounted a Picatinny rail. And he wanted to do that so if people sent him different kind of opposite optics, he could take the fast fire off, mount a... Uh, optic on it or both or whatever he wanted to do uh, and I will probably do that to this gun because I really like the way it turned out so uh, the mp5 is also has the widely known hk3 lug barrel to mount a suppressor on it's real nice it's consistent put the suppressor on a third of a turn and the suppressor is locked in place. So let me show you how to tear this down. So you want to make sure the bolt's forward. And of course you want to make sure it's empty. I know it's empty. Uh, 
take the fore end off. And I'm going to need a little pin because my hands are torn up from my neuropathy. I just, I'm having a hard time with it. So we're going to push that pin out and the fore end just tips down and then pulls forward. You push this pin out. I might be able to grab it. Nope. So we're going to push that out. And the HKs have these little holes in the stock. And they are to put that stock pin in there so you don't lose it. I'd probably lose it anyways, but... So you slide the stock off. Set that down. And the trigger pack tips down and out now. This gun is set up as a semi-auto. So I have the semi-auto shelf mounted onto it. Real MP5 submachine guns have two push pins. The one in the rear for the stock, and they have another push pin here, which actually goes through this hole. The reason I did it this way is it's just as easy to make a post sample pack. Then if I ever decide to get rid of my license, all I need to do is get rid of the post sample pack, put a semi-auto pack on it, which I have, and now I have either an SBR or a pistol. I think I built this one as a pistol. I built it for a customer. I built this and a K. Uh, MP5K for a customer and he decided he really liked the MP5K and he wasn't shooting the MP5 and so I said well you know I'll tell you what I'll buy it back from you and then I'll have an MP5 because I sold the MP5s I have so you just grab the spring pull that out pulls out the bolt carrier and the spring and this is kind of captive you can pull it out but you know, why? The MP5s are roller delayed blowback. I'm sure everybody knows that. When the bolt goes forward, and I'm not, uh, can, yeah, I can do it on this. Uh, when the bolt goes forward, these little rollers come out and they go into the trunnion and lock the bolt in place. Then when the gun fires, when enough pressure is built up, it'll slide back unlock and do its job now the weakest part of the mp5 is this extractor spring and the problem with this spring is hk recommends you replace it i believe it's every 500 rounds well when you shoot the guns like i do uh in a sub gun match you're shooting Five, you know, anywhere between 350 and 750 rounds, depending on the match. Well, if this spring weakens up, what happens is this spring falls out. And that's the only thing holding the extractor in. Then your extractor falls out and you have no extractor in the gun. It'll kind of run because there's usually enough gas pressure to blow the case out the back of the chamber when the bolt opens. But about 50% of the time it doesn't or the case gets stuck in there and then you get jams and, and I've had people at um, sub gun matches and these are people that know guns. They're not idiots. And they said, man, I don't know what's going on. My MP5, it was running fine. Then it just stopped running. And I look, and there's no extractor in it. It's like, well, where the fuck's your extractor? And they look, oh, God damn it. So that's, that's my biggest bitch about the extractor, uh, about the MP5. There is somebody who's making a new bolt head. Uh, and these are easy to change. You simply... Twist it and pull it off. And pull that out. That's your locking piece and your firing pin. 
Man, that's dirty. I got to clean that. Um, these carriers, this one uh, at least, is filled with tungsten powder. So it's got some weight to it. And the powder does not fill the entire cavity. So when the bolt slams home, the powder slams forward and keeps the bolt lock closed. So to put back together, you put the forend on, and there's all kinds of different forends you can get for it. Uh, and if you get a hole lined up, man, I'm having problems today. My hands are shot. Okay. Make sure the bolt head is forward. You slide that in. And slam it closed so it locks in place. Put the pack on. Wasn't quite slid forward enough. Put the stock on. And put your pin back in place. Now when you load an MP5, mag in, make sure it's in, slap the handle. Slap it hard so it closes all the way. Uh, if you don't do that, you're going to have problems. The MP5 also has push button mag release and a paddle mag release, which is very nice because the paddle's ambidextrous. So you can use it either side. And the safety's ambidextrous too on, on this style pack. Um, what else about the MP5? Uh, I hate the fluted chamber. Screws up the brass, and I'm a reloader, so that pisses me off. That's about all there is to the MP5. It's, you know, it's a typical German gun. I'm not going to take the trigger group apart, because like a typical German gun... Why use five parts when you can use 15? And it's a pain in the ass to take apart and put back together. Uh, maybe at some point I'll do a video on stripping the packs. Maybe what I'll do is see if I can get uh, a complete burst pack. I'm missing a couple of parts on this burst pack. Maybe I'll get the parts and set up a burst pack. And then do a video of the differences between the two. And maybe throw a semi-auto pack in there too. Because I do have a semi-auto pack. But that's the MP5. Uh, if you haven't shot a full auto, you should shoot a full auto. They're fun. They're a little fast. I like them a little slower. I like my sub guns about 650, 700 rounds a minute. And these 800... Uh, yeah, about 800 rounds a minute. This is Richard with BWE Firearms, and I hope you like and enjoyed this video and learned something along the way. With this year, 2021, with me getting stage four colon cancer, diabetes, and neuropathy in my hands and feet. It's getting harder and harder to work. And I have uh, come to realize my own mortality. Uh, because of that, uh, I realized that if I don't get this information out of my head and into videos or into other people's heads, uh, I will take it to the grave with me. And that does nobody any good at all. If you would, please like, share, subscribe, and comment to the video. It helps me with the algorithms. And if you would like to support my efforts in doing these videos, 
Uh, please go to my website, bwefirearms.com, and in my shopping cart, I have an item in there where you can donate money to my efforts. And uh, uh, 97% of the money will go directly to uh, me doing these videos. 3%, of course, will go to the credit card company. I will, you know, take a dollar. I will take thousand dollars whatever you feel like donating i would greatly appreciate it and it will help me get this stuff done you have a nice day and we will see you in the next video